always just roped and that's all I ever wanted to do. A lot of people want to be a policeman or a fireman, I always wanted to rope. The, the thing that drives my passion in me is, you know, I always wanted to make the NFR. The very first world championship, the feeling was, you know, it was finally I accomplished my goal. A few years after I won the first championship, they had a party for me at Electra, and it was us at the NFR, we was watching NFR at the roping on the TV, and I was about 13 years old, and everybody was at the roping, and somebody took the picture, and when I won the championship, they'd give me that picture. So it, was, it worked out pretty cool. My name is Rainy Skelton. I'm 13 years old. My parents are Rich and Rhonda Skelton. My parents, they put me on little horses, and I just never got scared, and I loved it from the start. Well, I won my first saddle when I was around seven years old. That was pretty important to me. That was my first goal I ever set for myself. And I worked every day for it, and I ended up accomplishing it. I'm real proud of my daughter. You know, she's, uh, she's had a lot of success, especially the best when she made the American, the semifinals. That was really cool. Every time when she come out and roped last year at Roy's Roping, I was roping at the end of the bar two years ago, and I was way more nervous watching her rope than I was when I was at the NFR myself that night. The uh, whole aspect of roping has changed. You know, I see uh, kids that rope better at 11, 12, 13 years old than I did when I was 15 and 16. You see kids in the stands, they have little bitty play ropes, they can handle ropes so good. And, you know, I can be talking to you while you're roping and tell you to change your swing, do this, do this. I had to do everything by trial and error. I just run a lot of steers and rope the saw way. Well, you know, the funny thing about Rainy style is, is, you know, like I posted last week, her healing on one of my horses. She, everybody thinks that I teach her how to heal. She, I don't really have to teach her because when she goes to the junior rodeo, she heads. Rope calves, tie goats ride barrel colts, any possible thing I can do to stay better. You know, she's got a natural, I don't know if it's from roping calves or what, but she actually has a really nice uh, natural healing swing. Um, winning is addictive. You gotta keep your head about things and stay humble and praise God for everything and that you accomplish. It is hard for me competing when I do have my dad as a big star at rodeo or whatever you like to call it. Yeah. <laughs> he got I'll me break. distracted. I'll break it back. <laughs> and um so, get back. Really good. Get back. <laughs> One thing I hear a lot is, oh my gosh, you're Rich Skelton's daughter. You must be great. Well sometimes there's a lot of pressure on her because she's my daughter and people say, Well you're Rich Skelton's daughter, you ought to be able to do this and do that. It's like a lot of pressure to live up to people's expectations of me. I when I grow up, I just want to be like my dad and win the world and go on to do great things.